Did you know that Indonesia, home to thousands of islands, is one of the most affordable countries in the world to retire? Imagine waking up every day to warm tropical breezes, stunning landscapes, and the knowledge that your cost of living is a fraction of what it would be in the US or Europe. But here's the twist, there's so much more to Indonesia than just affordability. Stick around till the end of this video because I've got a surprising fact about this paradise that'll leave you amazed. In today's video, we're uncovering what most people don't tell you about retiring in Indonesia. From housing to healthcare, climate, culture, and even retirement visas, we're breaking it all down for you. Ready to explore? Let's dive in. One of the biggest concerns for retirees is finding affordable housing, and this is where Indonesia shines. In cities like Yogyakarta or Surabaya, you can find a decent two-bedroom apartment for as low as $300 a month, according to Numbio estimates. Yes, you heard that right, $300. Even in the more famous tourist areas like Bali, fully furnished homes with amenities like a pool go for around $600 to $700 a month. Imagine living in a villa with a private pool, lush gardens, and all the comforts you need for a fraction of what you'd pay in most Western countries. It's not just the cost that's attractive, the quality of life you can get for that price is what really makes it worth considering. Whether you're looking for a quiet seaside bungalow or a modern apartment in the heart of the city, Indonesia has something for every type of retiree. And here's the best part, most rentals in Indonesia are fully furnished. This means you don't have to worry about buying furniture or appliances. You can just move in and start enjoying your new life right away. But housing is just one piece of the puzzle. What about day-to-day -day expenses? Well, the cost of living in Indonesia is one of the lowest in the world, making it the perfect place for retirees looking to stretch their retirement savings. Exotic Property noted that a single person can live comfortably in Indonesia for around $900 to $1,500 per month. This includes everything, rent, groceries, transportation, dining out, and entertainment. In comparison, living in the US for a similar lifestyle could easily cost three to four times as much. For example, a meal at a local restaurant might set you back just $2 to $5, and even if you decide to splurge at a mid-range restaurant, it will still only cost about $20 to $30 for two people. Plus, transportation is incredibly affordable. A single ride on public transport costs about 30 cents, and a monthly pass for unlimited access to buses and trains is roughly $15. Think about it, your money goes a lot further here, and that means more freedom to enjoy life without constantly worrying about expenses. Whether it's dining out, traveling, or simply enjoying the beach life, Indonesia makes it all possible on a modest budget. Healthcare is always a top concern for retirees, and the good news is that Indonesia offers quality care at a fraction of the cost compared to countries like the US or the UK. Private hospitals in major cities such as Jakarta and Bali offer excellent services with well-trained doctors, many of whom have studied or trained abroad. In fact, many expats choose to use private health insurance to cover any medical expenses, which is quite affordable. Depending on your age and health, comprehensive insurance coverage as highlighted by Trip.com might cost you anywhere from $500 to $1,500 per year, still much cheaper than what you'd pay in many other countries. And let's not forget, the Indonesian government requires retirees to have health insurance when applying for a retirement visa. This ensures that you'll always have access to medical care if needed during your golden years. Indonesia is known for its tropical climate, meaning warm weather and sunshine year-round. If you spent your life enduring cold winters and rainy springs, the idea of waking up to a beautiful sunny day every day might sound like paradise. With temperatures hovering between 75 degrees Fahrenheit and 85 degrees Fahrenheit, there's never a bad day to explore the outdoors, whether you prefer relaxing on the beach or hiking through lush rainforests. Intrepid Travel noted that Indonesia has a tropical climate with a distinct wet and dry season and hot humid weather throughout the year. The laid-back lifestyle here is one of Indonesia's biggest draws. Locals are friendly, welcoming, and take life at a slower, more relaxed pace. It's common to see families spending their evenings at open-air markets, retirees enjoying a morning coffee with ocean views, or groups of friends sharing a traditional meal together. This easygoing lifestyle is perfect for retirees looking for a peaceful, stress-free environment. It's about finding joy in the little things, like sipping on a fresh coconut while watching the sunset over the ocean. If you're enjoying this deep dive into the perks of retiring in Indonesia, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more insights on the best places to live and retire around the world. Your support helps us bring you even more amazing content. And if you stick around until the end, we've got a bonus fact that'll change the way you think about Indonesia. Now, let's talk about something crucial for any retiree. 
How do you stay in Indonesia long term? The answer lies in the Retirement Kaitas, a special visa for retirees over 55 years old. This visa allows you to stay in Indonesia for up to a year, with the option to renew annually. According to Investment Migration Insider, you need to have health and life insurance, a place to live, a proof of a monthly income of at least $1,500 USD to qualify. This is to ensure that you can comfortably support yourself during your retirement years. Once you've secured your kaitas, settling down in Indonesia is a breeze. The visa process is straightforward, and with the help of local agencies, many retirees find it hassle-free. It's the perfect setup for those who want to make Indonesia their permanent paradise. One of the most rewarding parts of retiring in Indonesia is the cultural experience. Indonesians are known for their warmth and hospitality, making it easy to build genuine friendships. While many Indonesians speak English, learning some Bahasa Indonesia, the national language, can go a long way in showing respect for the culture. Don't be surprised if locals invite you to their homes for a meal or a celebration. Whether it's a wedding, a birthday, or a religious ceremony, these events offer a glimpse into the rich and diverse culture of Indonesia. Speaking of diversity, Indonesia is home to hundreds of ethnic groups and religious communities, which means there's always something new to learn and experience. Based on information from multiple sources, there are over 1,300 different ethnic groups in Indonesia. From the unique rituals in Bali to the vibrant street markets in Jakarta, every part of Indonesia offers its own distinct flavor. Of course, no place is perfect, and Indonesia does come with its own set of challenges. For instance, the rainy season, which runs from November to March, can bring heavy downpours and even flooding in some areas like Jakarta and Bandung. ReliefWeb reported a heavy flood in Badung. It's something to keep in mind if you're planning to visit or retire during these months. Additionally, while Indonesia is known for its relaxed way of life, it's important to be mindful of local customs, particularly during religious observances like Ramadan. During this time, many Indonesians fast from sunrise to sunset, so inviting someone to lunch might be seen as culturally insensitive. However, joining them for the evening meal to break the fast, called iftar, is a great way to build deeper connections. For that bonus fact I promised you, did you know Indonesia is planning to move its capital? That's right, the government is building a brand new capital city called Nusantara on the island of Borneo. This move is intended to ease the overcrowding in Jakarta and open up new areas for development. For retirees, this presents a unique opportunity, with new infrastructure, quieter surroundings, and less congestion. Nusantara might just become the next hotspot for affordable, peaceful retirement living. It's something to keep an eye on as Indonesia continues to grow and evolve. If you've been dreaming of an affordable yet exciting place to spend your retirement years, Indonesia might just be the hidden gem you've been searching for. From affordable housing to vibrant culture and a laid-back lifestyle, it offers everything a retiree could want. And with the new capital city on the horizon, the future looks even brighter. Thanks for joining us on this journey through Indonesia. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and drop a comment below if you have any questions or experiences to share. And if you want more tips on the best places to retire, check out our next video. It's sure to inspire your next adventure.